welcome back to my channel. If you have not seen any of my TTC updates yet, my name is Crystal. I'm currently trying for baby number four, and yes, this is our last baby. Um, I'm really excited trying this time though because I am praying for another little girl. I want a girl so bad, but if I have another little boy, of course I'll be happy too. Um, my last baby, his name is Watson. I thought he was gonna be a girl, and I got pregnant so fast with him, I did not even get a chance to pray. <laughs> so um, when I found out it was a boy, I actually cried. But now <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel really bad about that. But you guys, I love my son so much. He is just my little cuddle bear. I love him. I wouldn't have changed that for nothing. Okay, so anyway, um, today I am going to share with you another live OPK and a live mirror test. Um, I have not tested at all this week. I really felt like I needed a break because it's just been so stressful. Every single time I take a test, I feel like I obsess over it and I'm like trying to squint to see if it got darker or, you know, anything like that. So I thought it was time to take a breather, but I did keep a close eye on my Fitbit chart, which I will put right over here. So you can kind of see like what's been going on. Really not much. It's been going up and down within like a two to three point range. Um, so not really much of an update there for my Fitbit, but, um, today I did want to share with you guys some, I guess, hormonal changes that have been going on. I've been starting to get some headaches. I have been cramping a whole lot to where my little ovaries are supposed to be. And also I have really bad acne. My acne has gotten so much worse and I know it's hormonal. So I don't even know if you can kind of like tell little blemishes here and there. And even on my chest, like it's a little embarrassing. I have not had acne on my chest since I was in high school. It's crazy, okay? Um, so anyway, okay, that's what's going on. I really feel like I'm about to have a period. So that's why I'm not like so obsessing over my ovulation test right now. Um, and I feel like my body really needs to have a period so that I can kind of kick things back into gear. And I'm really excited about it, okay? Um, but anyway, okay, so today I'm gonna do those tests and then we're also gonna talk about some stuff I have been doing. Um, I've really been trying to um, strengthen my relationship with God. It's pretty phenomenal. I feel like I've gotten to a really good place in my life where I have never been, I have never been this close with God and I have never really like, like laser focused, super on fire, ready to learn, ready to worship and surrender all in one. So it's really good. And I have been studying his word when it comes to fertility, when it comes to barrenness and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go over um, just a small little snippet of something I have been studying and maybe we'll go over a little declaration too because it's so good to declare things um, with your mouth because your words are so powerful and um, we're gonna talk about some stuff that I have been doing okay so before we get started though let's go ahead and take the test so that um, I'll have plenty of time because the mirror test takes 16 minutes which is a good thing because you want it to be accurate um, and sorry about <laughs> the mess here I got my OPKs here which I can show you these are last week's so like I said I haven't taken any new this week. I don't know if I can get that in the light for you. See, so those are still the same from last week. And I am about to run out of OPKs. So I plan on um, just getting some more, but I think I might get a different brand. But okay, let me take my test really quick. Okay, so this is a weird angle. I know <laughs> my phone is like on a little stand right now and I don't wanna move it. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, hair out of my face at least, okay. Come on, Mira, turn on, here we go. Okay, see, it says my last test, so it's June 22nd, and it's really cool that it reminds me how much. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first. Y'all, let me know if you like seeing me take these tests as much as I like taking them. I don't know why, but testing is always so much fun no matter what it is. So, we got the mirror test out, count to 10, one, two, three, okay. So that's done and settled. We'll do this one for five seconds, five. Okay, so 
those are done. I am going to discard of my bodily fluids and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about some stuff that I've been studying. And, okay, we're gonna look into Exodus chapter 23, verse 26. Okay, so I found the Bible verse and I highlighted, I highlighted it for you. Okay, so it says, no one shall suffer miscarriages or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. And in this passage right here, God is talking to Moses. So he's basically given Moses all of the Ten Commandments. And this is along lines with some other things that he said. Basically, if you follow these commandments, this is something that you'll get. And so he's telling us if we follow his commandments, then no one shall suffer miscarriage and no one will be barren. And I'm not, I'm not like going down the line of um, being religious or legalistic here. This is just one of those promises that, that God has given you for your obedience. And I love that. Um, there's a whole bunch of other scriptures out there that we can go over. I might save those for next week because I want to show you some other stuff here. So I love this. Um, I am pretty sure I've shown you guys this and I'll link it down in the description. This is amazing. So whenever you kind of feel like your faith needs a little boosting, especially with fertility, this is something great to have because it has a whole section from whenever you're trying to conceive and it has really good affirmations. Um, I love this one. I'll kind of read a little bit of this. It's so good. Um, so it says, bodies, we speak to you in Jesus' name. You will come in line and agreement with the word of God. You will respond to his holy word. You will function properly and perfectly the way God intended to. Every part, every organ of our reproductive system conforms to the word and plan of God as we come together in pure marital love. Body, conceive. Be pregnant, cooperate with God's plan. And there's so much more. This is pretty amazing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys another, um, a couple of other books that I'm currently reading that I just love. I feel like anyone can benefit from these books. So, the first one is this one I'm studying right here. It's called The Courts of Heaven from Robert Henderson. I recently went to one of his conferences last weekend. I seriously haven't had this much revelation in such a long time. Like, if you really want to learn something new, go find this book or do what I'm also doing. The, he has this seven part um, series, actually another church. Um, I think it's called the Victory Church. It's in New Zealand. They're on YouTube. And if you just YouTube um, search Robert Henderson Courts of Heaven, you'll see it. It has up to seven sessions and he goes over this and he even leads you into the prayers. So good. Okay, so that's something I'm working on right now. And then this, this is probably my absolute favorite book I have ever gotten. And it's from Patricia King, Patricia King. Sorry, Patricia, I can't say your name. Okay, so it's called God's Law of Attraction. This is so good. Um, I know a long time ago there was a book, I think it was called The Secret or something like that, which is basically about the law of attraction, but it was kind of like in this new age form, but this one is God's form. So this is basically saying that the law of attraction was a law from God. And whatever you say, whatever you believe in, um, all of these things that come out and you have your faith in, you speak into it, you speak life into it, it will come to you. You will attract it. I, I'm pretty sure in this supernatural. So, so good. So I have been practicing this law of attraction. Also, I'm um, learning from my courts of heaven and of course, speaking those affirmations over me um, for this baby. So I am praying double time for this little bean about to become in my womb. And guys, I'm like, it's so important for you to work on your mental health whenever you're trying for a baby or honestly, whenever you're believing for anything. It's so important. So um, make sure, you know, you're feeding your soul and um, you're getting your word in because you it's what really helps you break those chains and be an overcomer because you are consistent and you're not giving up, which is something that the enemy hates and it's something that helps you get through it. Okay, 
So um, let's go ahead and look at my tests really quick. I don't know if they are ready. Pick this up a bit so I can show you. Yeah, but it's barely, barely anything is there. And Mira, we still got six minutes. So while I'm waiting for that mirror to finish up, I'm just going to update you guys on some stuff that's been going on. So first things first, a couple weeks ago, I lost my car keys. And I don't know if it was me that lost them or my kids or my husband, but they're lost. <laughs> and we have been looking for two weeks and we have not found them. And the reason why I'm looking so hard is because I called Volkswagen and they said it costs about $600 to order a replacement key. And that's something I just do not wanna do right now. So I'm trying to avoid it at all costs, but I'm thinking I'll probably give myself another week to look. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna have to eat the cost and get some car keys because it has been rough asking my husband to drive me everywhere. And um, he drives a big old truck and so I, cannot drive. I cannot drive his truck for nothing. I will be one of the first people to say that I am not the best driver. I'm a grandma driver and I like my little small car because I can see everything around. But when I'm in his big truck, I can't see anything. I just can't. So I need keys. Um, the next thing going on so I don't know if a lot of you know what my husband does, but he flips houses and um, he buys houses too, like rentals and stuff. And one of these houses that we got, it had a playground in the backyard. And we have actually been going back and forth thinking about buying a playground and they cost about $1,000 or something around there. And so we've been going back and forth, like deciding um, when and if we should buy one, you know, especially because we have Watson, who if he starts climbing, he could fall off. But Dawson is about to be three. So we figured, you know what, it's probably, it's probably a good time. So we decided to take it from um, that house and we brought it over here and I gave it a complete makeover. I made it look so cute. I'm excited. That's what I did all weekend long. I actually had paint all over me, which is why I had to take off my nails and it came out so good. I'll actually go ahead and insert a little clip here and show you what it looks like now. I feel like I missed a couple of spots, but I think it looks great and I can't wait to decorate it. The kids love it too and I'm just so happy we got it honestly because it's been so hard you know, if I want to take the kids to the park or something and there's other kids playing there and just feels uneasy, you know, nothing is normal anymore. So this is a great time to get a playground. So we don't really have to go to the park every day. They have everything they need back there. That's also a reason why I didn't post a video on Friday and I completely forgot to update you guys on that. But it was hectic. Um, true story. Whenever we were moving the playground to our backyard, um, I had decided that I was going to stand in the back of the truck and hold these big old wooden pieces together so that they wouldn't fall because it, it was pretty big. And so I was standing in the back of the truck just holding these um, big old wooden pieces. I, it was to the swing set. And then all of a sudden, two cops pull up behind us. And I'm just like, they're shaking. I'm like, oh my God, don't pull us over. Don't pull us over. And this was really late at night. It was like one o'clock in the morning because the only time my husband had time was at the end of the day. So we had taken the kids to my sister's and we decided, okay, we're just gonna stay up and move it all over. <laughs> and anyway, so I was like freaking out with these cops behind us. And um, they were behind us for, I, I think like about four to five blocks. And then all of a sudden they turned and I was, <laughs> I was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm so serious, you guys. It was so nerve wracking. Um, okay, so moving on. Another thing that I am doing this week, on Tuesday, I'm getting my hair done. And I'm thinking about cutting like six inches off. So I think that would be like to about here or so. So what do you guys think? Do you think that is acceptable here? And if I curl it, it'll probably go up here. But y'all, it's just so hard having all of this hair. And I straightened it just so I could show you guys how long it's gone. And whenever I do my balayage, I usually go from all the way up here. So it's grown quite a bit. I only do it about once a year. And now I'm thinking maybe I should do it 
twice a year because it has really grown out but I just never have the time because it takes like five hours to do balayage so that's why I'm always avoiding going to the salon I'm gonna check on this okay we're at 50 seconds or so well, I can feel it vibrating and stuff that's really cool I am still in awe of this mirror and I will of course link that down below as well if you're interested in taking one of those. Um, also I just saw that they launched their I think estrogen tests. I think it's called the Mira Plus or something like that which is pretty cool. So if you want to know your estrogen levels too you can totally find that out. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be another like less than one or two level just from looking at my OPK. But I guess here we go it's done. What does it say? Gosh, it says less than one. Gosh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? Oh, I don't know why it's so bright. You can really see it. No, there it is. Less than one. Y'all, I knew I didn't ovulate. Okay, yep. I think my body is gonna have a period really soon. I'm serious. Okay, so anyway, I'll get I'll keep you guys updated. But anyway, you guys, like always, pray for me, keep me in your prayers, and like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.